Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have, a Taurus? Five of Swords, Aquarius energy at the foundation of the reading, Taurus. Taurus, I'm feeling some sort of restrictive energy. Now, this could have to do with the fact that Saturn is retrograding right now. So it's like the energy of something being restricted right now in your life, or you're having to have a second look at something. It's like you're having to retrace your steps and improve upon something. Now, this can be in any area of your life, so take it as it fits. But there's also something here relating to how you actually receive this. It's almost like an energy of being really hard on yourself. So you're really being called here to just keep going with the flow. Don't allow this energy to make you feel defeated or to knock you down. Just get up and keep pushing forward is the message that I'm getting here, Taurus. There's definitely an energy here that wants you to feel defeated. So this is a very basic example, but let's say you've been working on a project for a very long time, you've put a lot of work into this, and then something comes up, somebody sees it, or somebody hears it, or some other eyes get on this project and they recognize something inside this project that you yourself didn't see or hear or whatever it is. And it gives you this sense of feeling defeated because you didn't recognize this. But as soon as you got other eyes or ears on whatever this is here, they were able to pinpoint something that could be improved upon. Now, because you are this fixed energy Taurus, this could be something that you take kind of hard. It's an energy of criticism, somebody critiquing something you're doing. But the end result of this is a positive one. So don't allow yourself to feel defeated by this. Just get up, make the changes necessary, and keep pushing forward. Because I feel that these are all necessary steps you need to take to have the results you want in this particular area of your life. What do we have at the sacral, please? Uh-huh. Hangman, Pisces energy at the sacral. So this is an energy of a new perspective. This is an energy of an alternative perspective. Exactly with what I'm saying here. It's like somebody comes through. This could even be some sort of higher guidance that you get surrounding this. You just start to perceive something differently now. And you're like, oh, I didn't see it like that before. I need to improve this. So there's also messages here surrounding restricting yourself by thinking that something can't be improved upon. Sometimes you really just need to remove yourself from the position you're in, in regards to whatever this is here, Taurus. It's like you need to position yourself as somebody else. For the sake of example, and this is a very basic one, but hopefully it gets the point across. Say you're a songwriter and you've been working on this song tirelessly. You've put all this time and energy and effort into it. Nobody's heard it yet. And you play it for one other individual just to get their opinion. And they don't necessarily give you any positive feedback, but they tell you something that needs to be fixed. Now, this individual may not be the kind of person who's going to pat you on the back and say, good job, buddy, right? They're not like that. They're just very raw and honest and they don't puff you up, so to speak. So this is really what I'm picking up here. You know, it's very important you put yourself in the position of other individuals in whatever this is relating to, Taurus, because this is going to allow you to have the best possible outcome. And sometimes you really do need to detach yourself from your manifestations, because if you're too invested in them, 
on a personal level like this, this can be to your detriment. So make sure you're taking little breaks, removing yourself from that particular position you're in with this manifestation and try and look in from a different vantage point. I feel for a lot of you, this does have to do with something that is creative or something that, or something you hold a lot of passion for at this sacral position. What do we have at the solar plexus? Three of swords. <laughs> Libra energy at the solar plexus. Yeah, there's this energy of feeling defeated now. It's almost like an energy of obsessing over the criticism. But you're missing the point here. The criticism is for the betterment of whatever this is here. But there is a lesson to be learned here, I feel, Taurus. I feel in the future this will be something that you try not to do. You'll try and bring in other eyes or ears, whatever it is you need here, much sooner. So you don't feel so defeated by the criticism when it comes in. There is an energy here of trying to overly control the outcome of something, so much so to the point where you end up smothering it. I feel like you're really being guided, Taurus, to bring some other energies into this to make sure that you get the best possible outcome here. What do we have with the heart? Three of Cups, Three of Swords, Three of Cups, 33. There's a message here urging you to prioritize your physical, emotional, and mental well-being, Taurus. Eliminating any criticism or critiques as being negative, but rather seeing them as forms of power. Three of Cups at the heart. I feel like there's some sort of shadow energy here that is being highlighted as well in this situation that you're currently finding yourself in, Taurus. It's like your way of dealing with this is bringing something to the surface. I feel like it's an energy of self-defeat. It's an energy of realizing that there's sometimes a better way to do things than the way you're doing them. And to accept guidance in constructive criticism as forms of empowerment as opposed to feeling like it's a form of attack. Something that you feel is trying to stop you moving in one direction. I feel that the Saturn retrograde is highlighting this area of your life to just make you a stronger person, Taurus, to make you better at what it is you're doing here. There's this disciplining kind of energy, but the end result is going to be very good. You just need to just need to kind of get over yourself here, Taurus. And I say that in the most loving, positive way possible. And this is an energy here that I personally resonate with in certain areas of my life. What do we have at the throat, please? Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the throat. And this is interesting because this Ace of Pentacles is coming out right at this throat position. So it's like the divine is speaking to you through these other people or this constructive criticism showing you the way. Right? Like, hey, Taurus, this needs to be fixed. And then you'll be more aligned to be able to go through this doorway to the pinnacle of success. This is all happening divinely. Nothing is trying to stop you here, Taurus, at all. This is not what this is about. That's your mind telling you that. In fact, you're being supported and guided. The divine just needs you to be the best that you can possibly be. So they're going to arrange things in your waking life to be able to accomplish just that. Ace of Pentacles is also the energy of manifestation and prosperity. So this is the direction you're heading. Queen of Cups, wow. This goes along perfectly with what I'm saying here. Queen of Cups in reverse at the third eye. It's like an energy of feeling insecure. It's also an energy that can smother something to the point where you don't allow outside criticism to better it. You're too 
married to the manifestation, that you can't see things from a wider scope. And it's right there at the third eye, which is all related to the way you perceive your reality, the way you perceive whatever this is here. There's also an energy here surrounding resenting the criticism, okay? You got to be really careful of doing this, Taurus, okay? Because this is a form of self-sabotage. And you're also alienating yourself. So it's essentially you putting all your time into creating something. And then when some constructive criticism comes through, you don't like it. You don't accept it. You may even punish the individual who gives you the constructive criticism. And this is essentially you sabotaging yourself from moving in this particular direction with whatever this is here. It's also an energy of you losing yourself in this form of constructive criticism as opposed to putting all of your focus on what needs to be fixed, what needs to be bettered, what needs to be improved upon. What do we have for the crown, please? Yep, five of pentacles, Taurus energy at the crown, shadow Taurus energy, low vibrational Taurus energy. Um, this is an energy of a, a lack mentality. See, when somebody is fully confident in what they're doing, they'll recognize any sort of critique or criticism as something that they can use to become better in that field. Some people enjoy being critiqued. They look for it. They almost feel defeated by not getting some sort of criticism or critique. It's like everybody's saying, oh, that's so great. And nobody wants to say anything like, oh, well, it can be improved upon here because maybe they're too afraid to tell you something like this, right? You definitely want to get out of that mindset because all you're going to do is completely sabotage and annihilate whatever this is that you're trying to bring in to your reality. Start seeing all of these changes that need to be made as something that's for the better. See them as little forms of hope as opposed to something that's attacking you. Because by seeing it as this form of attack, this is a form of spiritual poverty. And it's also a cloud of poverty you're putting over this specific manifestation. What do we have at the foundation, please, from the Cotero? Then we have Page of Wands, Balaam, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So this is read as Page of Wands in its detriment. So again, this is a very pessimistic energy. There's an energy of you creating even more setbacks for yourself by not focusing on the task at hand, but by focusing too much on it feeling like an attack because things aren't going exactly the way that you wanted them to. It's like putting so much time into something and perceiving it as great. And maybe it is great. It probably is. But as soon as you get some other energy in there, they receive it a little bit differently. They hear some things that can make it better, thus leading you to feel a sense of defeat. You feel disappointed and let down. You feel attacked. I feel like this is something that all of us can learn from in some capacity here, depending on what sector of your life this may fall into. It's just very important to get other people's energy and opinions in on something much sooner rather than later. What do we have at the sacral? Two of Cups, Cancer, Energy at the sacral. This can be an energy of miscommunication, but I feel like this is how you're receiving this communication. Taurus, I feel like you're being very defensive here. You're feeling attacked. There's also an energy for some of you here where you feel attacked by the universe. It's like somebody telling you something, right? Like we've been picking up here. And then you direct your frustration at the universe. Like, why are you doing this to me, universe? Why can't I get a win here? Right? Something like this. And the universe is like, why are you being so sensitive? We're just trying to show you how to improve upon this. Do you want our help or not? Right? It's this kind of energy. See, and 
again, Five of Pentacles at the crown, this is a lack mindset when you're in this energy of feeling attacked by the universe. This may be some sort of habit that the universe is trying to break you free of, and they're using this situation, whatever this thing is here that you're trying to manifest as the way to do this. And this is really a perfect example of when we get this Saturn retrograding. It's the energy of really needing to embrace new energies and pursue some sort of new direction in whatever this is here. What do we have at the solar plexus? Eight of Swords, Folklore, Gemini energy at the solar plexus. What a card to follow up what I just said. Because this is uh, an energy of lacking direction. Again, an energy of restriction. You imprisoning yourself unnecessarily. It's like you don't need to do this. It's like you're just making things harder for yourself. Not being open to new perspectives. What do we have at the heart? And then we have Nine of Cups, Foras, Greed. This can be an energy of looking for some sort of quick results as well. It can be an energy of feeling dissatisfied. It can be an energy of just expecting everything to happen right now for you, but not wanting to accept this constructive criticism and the fact that more work may need to go into this. Something along these lines. And then we have Lecabelle. Intellectual talent, which is the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy at the heart. And now I feel this energy starting to lift. It's an energy of progress. It's also an energy of mastery here. I feel like this whole situation is leading you to this energy of mastery. It's like this is how you become a master, by failing time and time again, by getting good at receiving constructive criticism, by not being so married to your manifestations that you take everything as personal. What do we have at the throat, please? What do we have at the throat? Five of swords. Huh. Wow. So I always talk about how this part of my readings right here usually takes us right back to the beginning. Okay, the top row is typically... The narrative, this is what's going down. This is the shadow energy, the restrictive energy. Then we have this bridging energy here. So these are demons, negative polarities. Then we bridge from the demons to the angels into the outcome. The angels, the outcome, usually take us back to the beginning. Five of swords, five of swords. So we're seeing now how this is a cycle, how this is a lesson that the universe is trying to teach you. Okay? And we also have five, five, five. An energy of change, whether it's your location, your job, whatever it is here, or just a way of doing something, a mindset as well. Ia hell, God, the highest being, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. And again, it's an energy of you being open to change. Ending any sort of unhealthy mindsets, restrictive mindsets that you place around yourself and the things you're trying to manifest into your life, allow yourself to flow with the energies more without breaking or cracking, okay? What do we have at the third eye? Six of Pentacles, Taurus, that is your energy right there at the third eye. Aladia, the favorable God. Divine grace cures rage and pestilence absolves the guilty. So perfect card to get towards the end of this reading here. Because now we're starting to see the energy flow more. You're in this giving and receiving energy with the universe. You're not in this energy of taking things so personal. You're seeing that all this constructive criticism around your manifestations here or whatever this is here in your life is necessary in evolving this particular sector, this energy, into the best it can possibly be. It's an energy of prosperity. It's an energy of you giving and receiving with the universe. What do we have at the crown? 
Three of Cups, Cancer Energy at the Crown to close out the reading. E-I-L, the right hand of God. Fame and renown influences commerce, voyages, and great discoveries. And this is a very interesting card to close out this reading with because Three of Cups is an energy of creativity, but it's also an energy of some sort of group, community around you. So this could represent people that you look to for advice, constructive criticism, but it can also represent the universe. It's just an overall energy that's around you, Taurus, that's trying to support you. Okay, so allow this growth to happen in your life. Don't get stuck in this Five of Pentacles energy here, which is low vibrational shadow Taurus energy. You want to remain in the Six of Pentacles energy, flowing with the energy more, okay? And if you can shift your mindset to do this, which you will because it's in the energy, you're going to start to see growth in this particular area of your life. And you're going to look back and you're going to feel kind of silly for behaving this way, <laughs> okay? So just keep pushing forward, Taurus. Allow for the universe to guide you and help you through the people that may be coming onto your path to offer these critiques to you and just allow the energy to flow. Taurus, this is the energy that's available to you depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.